15 years after his wife and three children were all killed in Oswego, Christopher Vaughn is trying to clear his name. He was convicted of the murders, but his attorney now says part of the DNA evidence was fraudulent. WGN's Patrick Elwood is covering that story. It was a crime that sent shockwaves through the small town of Oswego in early June morning, 2007, and four of the five Vaughn family members are killed by gunfire. Three children, Abigail 12, Cassandra 11, and Blake 8, were found dead in the rear passenger seat of the family's SUV, each shot twice. One gunshot to the torso, one to the head. Their mother, Kimberly, in the front passenger seat, found dead with a single gunshot wound under her chin. The family was heading to a water park near Springfield when she asked her husband, so the narrative went, to pull over because she wasn't feeling well. Christopher Vaughn was found by a motorist walking along the frontage road of I-55 south of Joliet. He had been shot twice. His 9mm was found on the floorboard by Kimberly Vaughn's feet. That motorist reported Vaughn told him that he believed he had been shot by his wife. Illinois State Police investigators said when they interviewed him, Vaughn said he had no memory of what happened and said there's no way his wife could have committed such a heinous crime. Vaughn was arrested on the day of his family's funerals and convicted by a Will County jury two years later. We think that if the indictment is undone or voided, that that then voids the conviction. Now comes attorney Keith Altman, who represents Vaughn. He was hired by Vaughn's parents. Altman is zeroing in on the DNA evidence in his client's trial. The 25-page lawsuit filed today alleges the Illinois state forensic scientist on the case tampered with lab reports against Vaughn, specifically as it relates to blood found in the family's car on the seatbelt of Kimberly. We think that the indictment was obtained through false testimony. What's more, Kimberly Vaughn at the time was taking the prescribed drug Topamax for migraines. About a year after the murders, the FDA ruled the drug had been causing suicidal ideation and unusual behavior in some patients. Just one week before that June day in 2007, Kimberly reportedly had told her doctor she was experiencing high anxiety and a change in her temperament. Furthermore, a forensic pathologist deposed by the prosecution but not called to trial described her fatal gunshot as being self-inflicted. And a former state police investigator who worked the case claimed he too believed that this was a case of murder-suicide by Kimberly but was dismissed by Will County prosecutors. While admitting he had been unfaithful to his wife, Christopher Vaughn has always maintained his innocence in these murders. He's been in there for about 15 years for murders that he did not commit. Uh, it would be great, but it certainly, he deserves a new, um, a new grand jury. And if they choose to indict, then a new opportunity presented evidence of trial. But if there were inconsistencies at trial, there was also a good deal of physical crime scene evidence presented by police and prosecutors that pointed to Vaughn's guilt, which could explain why the jury convicted him about an hour after beginning deliberations. Additionally, Christopher Vaughn's mother and father are currently petitioning the governor for clemency. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.